Hey everybody, it's John here from TheGimmyAct.com. Here we are today back in the Simpsons game doing part two of the Springfield collectibles. We are doing Bart's uh, collectibles today and grabbing the poster paster achievement. All right, starting off at the Simpsons house, what you want to do is uh, you want to head to the backyard, head into Bart's treehouse and grab the first uh, crusty coupon right over here. And then, as always, we are going to hit up Flanders house next but uh just uh, ignore that for now and just go past it and head to this uh purpley looking house and uh hop up onto the roof and you want to drop down on the left side of the house and grab the uh thing in the window then what you need to do is you need to uh, grab a hook on top of the retirement home grab the collectible up here then we're going to float on down. You are going to need Homer for this next one. You need to uh, break this uh, fire hydrant right here by Krusty Burger. And uh, use uh, Bart's uh, gliding ability to glide up and then grab it. It's going to be on the rotating sign. A little hard to get the landing right, but eventually once you touch it, you should grab the next collectible. Alright, after that, you need to uh, float up again, and this time you want to land on the roof of the Krusty Burger. Grab it on this, like, hatch-looking thing right here, and then what you need to do is head on inside Krusty Burger, and uh, in here, you want to uh, jump behind the counter, and then grab it. It's going to be behind the menu. I recommend uh, using the cash register as a little stepladder in order to make the jump easier. There we go. After that, you should have six by now, so we're going to leave. Krusty Burger, and uh, then what you need to do is you need to uh, turn around, you're gonna head back into the neighborhood and grab a slew of collectibles um, in this direction. So one by this house. Um, then what you need to do is you need to jump onto the fence, jump onto the uh, roof right here, and uh, jump on this uh, chimney. Then you want to double jump and glide, try to land on the tree and grab number eight. And in this group of trees is going to be number nine. After that, you are going to head over to Frank's house. Um, next to his back door is going to be uh, number 10. Then you can uh, skip his basement because there's no Bart collectibles in there. Head to uh, this house right here across the street and uh, grab collectible number 11. And then we're going to head over here in front of the corner house and grab number 12. Then you want to try to get on top of the uh, corner house if you can from this side. If not, don't worry about it. There is another collectible over here in the corner. But the reason you need to get on top of the roof is because you need to uh, glide on over to the uh, grocery store in order to get the uh, collectible. But uh, if you're like me and are going through some frustrations with that, you can save it for a bit. So I decided to just... Uh, Get the one on top of the church first. You do that by jumping um, up onto that house and then using the zip line, grab the uh, church one right here. And uh, you can also uh, grab the one in the back. I forgot about that, so I just uh, decided to go for the billboard one right now. All right, so eventually, once you figure out how to get to the top of this house, very, very frustrating, by the way, since there's no uh, fence that's close enough to the house to get on top. So you just kind of have to go at it at the front like this and hope that you uh, clip your way through. But uh, once you figure out how to get up here, use the glide ability on the chimney and try your best to uh, grab this one on the billboard. Once again, very, very difficult. I hope um, you have better luck than I did because that was probably like the 30th take of trying to get that. Um, but uh, anyways, once you manage to get that, once again, uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, there's another one on top of the church that I skipped over. So just... Uh, Grab that one right there. It's on the back of the church. You uh, get it by doing the same way. Just zip line to the top and uh, grab it right here. So make sure you do that. Um, hopefully I saved you a little bit of work. But there's also one in the corner right here um, at the church. Then you need to actually head on inside. Once again, you can say hi to Reverend Lovejoy. Dude's a very cheery person. Loves being said hi to. Um, but uh, anyways... The uh, Bart collectible is going to be um, on these like light fixtures uh, between the pews. So you need to grab a hook up at a certain angle in order to uh, grab it. There you go. Leave the church and then head into the parking lot of the grocery store. You're going to need Homer for this. You need to use Homer Ball and knock that uh, SUV over and then grab the collectible underneath it. That's uh, number 19. You can also head around here. You can use this truck to get up onto the roof, or you can use the dumpster if you can clear that uh, wall right there. But uh, there's a vent up here that you can glide up, and next to the uh, grocery store sign is going to be number 20, so make sure you grab that. 
and then we are going to head further into town so head on over here you can uh, take this back way and then we're gonna head over to the schoolyard so uh, just uh, cut through the church parking lot and there's a collectible up here on this cliff side so try to go up here and then just drop down there you go number 21 after that uh, what you need to do is you need to head over here to the school parking lot and uh, you can use Homer's uh, Homer ball to uh, crack these uh, cracks open and get yourself the next collectible so uh, make sure you have Homer in your party if not there is a uh, bus stop across the street so that's always handy grab the collectible number 22 and uh, after that we are going to uh, jump on top of the school to do that you just either uh, hit up the dumpster or you can climb the crates if they're still there doesn't really matter once you're up here you can uh, hit up the vent right here and uh, then we are going to go all the way over here and grab this one on the ledge number 23 and uh, glide on down head over here this is the uh, bank I believe this is the area with the bank the radio um, station as well as the DMV you can try to jump at the corner however it's probably smarter to just use the dumpster and jump up Alright, this jump is also very tricky since the physics on the trees aren't so good. You have to land like dead center in order to grab this on the tree. And once again, that was after like 12 takes. So uh, once again, uh, best of luck to anyone uh, trying to uh, get those uh, tree physics down. But uh, anyways, climb up back up the ramp. This is where uh, Krusty Burger is. So making a kind of full circle around the uh, evergreen terrace area. But uh, climb up the uh, radio tower. And this is quite the climb. I think it takes like 21 seconds to get up here. Uh, just keep climbing up. And you have to actually come up here twice. So uh, have fun with that. always say climbing big towers. But uh, there is a collectible on this tree. Once again, try to land dead center. Because tree physics really suck in this game. But uh, after grabbing that, climb back up the radio um, tower. And then grab the one on this little building that's attached to the uh, DMV. And uh, there you go, number 26. After that, we're going to jump back down. And then we're going to skip everything here. You don't really need Lisa to grab any of anything there because there's no Bart collectibles. Next Bart collectible is going to be in the comic book shop. So head on inside there. Once you're in here, what you need to do is uh, look in the corner for number 27. After that, we are going to uh, head over here to uh, Planet Hype. We're going to uh, zip around the back. March collectible right there, don't worry about that as of now, but uh, Bart collectible will be here in the back corner. You can also hit up this uh, alleyway, you're going to have to do some Ninja Gaiden style wall jumps here and uh, go back and forth and uh, get to the top of Planet Hype and up here is going to be collectible 29. Then what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, turn around, you can zip line up here to this building, I think it's the museum. And there's a collectible right on top of that. Make sure you get your zip line directions right, or else you look kind of stupid just jumping back up and down. But uh, grab that, number 30. There's also one on the center pole. You can also take this time, if you can land the glide right, you can get the one on top of the Jebediah Springfield statue. Uh, or you could be like me and fall down and look like an idiot. However, through the power of editing, we can cut those parts out. Uh, once you uh, do that, uh, make sure you switch over to Marge. There should be a bus stop uh, nearby. Um, use uh, megaphone powers to grab yourself some recruitment people. Have them build the scaffolding behind the Bolarama and use Bart to jump up there after it's done. And you can grab the one on the weird Bolarama sign, which I never understood why these things were shaped this way. It was it made getting collectibles frustrating in every open world Simpsons game, even Hit and Run. I hate these things so much. You just got to kind of like um, scurry your way to the corner and try to get it. But uh, yeah, you have to do it three times uh, in this game to get all the freaking collectibles. And um, yeah, so Simpsons rant over. Uh, HD remake of Hit and Run, please. That would be freaking cool uh, someday. Uh, but anyways, uh, head behind the Quickie Mart and uh, grab it by the dumpster. Also jump on top and uh, there's a vent right next door. Take this to the... Uh, Next building, don't get stuck on the rings because that's annoying. But uh, on the top is going to be number 34. And uh, then you can uh, drop down. This is the Aztec Theater and jump on the um, marquee and then grab number 35. Head inside the Cookie Mart and grab Art's Collectible. It's going to be uh, in the uh, 
bottom right corner, I think, by the uh, snacks and stuff. Right here, so make sure you grab that. And then make sure you leave, and uh, then you want to head over here. And uh, what you need to do is you need to keep heading this way, and uh, lots of walking. Uh, but uh, we're going to head to this building right here. This is the uh, motel, I believe. Use the grapple hook to get up here and grab the collectible on the corner. And then we're going to fly on down. And then we are going to try to grapple hook up here and grab this collectible. That's actually pretty hard to reach because it's so close to the edge. But uh, you also want to try to land on top of this building. Once you do, you can glide and grab the one in this tree by the river. After that, what you need to do is you need to fly on back down. We're going to hit um, the hotel again and then grab the one in the back corner. So make sure you do that. And uh, then you should be at uh, 40 at this point. So a little past the halfway point now. Fly on over here, grab the one on the ramp right here, and uh, then you want to turn your attention this way, and uh, then you want to uh, fly on down here. And of course you have to uh, jump on this air conditioning unit and try to fly up, and then use this air conditioning unit, and then fly up. And once you land on this roof, the um, Collectible is going to be in this uh, corner right here by these uh, eye beam looking things. So grab that. All right. Afterwards, you want to uh, hit up this vent right here, and you want to try to fly and grab the one on the uh, street post, or you can try to get the Jebediah Springfield one from here also. Um, but uh, you're gonna have to do both eventually. So grab this one, number forty-three, and once again try to get to the top of the building, and then try to grab Jebediah Springfield once again. I think this is a better one than using the uh, flagpole because uh, this one you get a little bit extra um, height on it so you have a little bit more time to glide on down and grab number 44. Alright, after that we are going to head to the uh, police station right here. We're going to head up uh, behind it and there's going to be a slew of collectibles on the roof. Unfortunately you need to use the grapple hook and this thing is very finicky when there's like a bunch of grapple hook stuff uh, nearby. It's very hard to pick a precise one, so try to be a little bit careful with where you're landing. But uh, there will be uh, number 45 up on the corner of the police station. Number 46 next door on this uh, brownish red building. And uh, then across the way is going to be a bunch more. You can kind of see them in the background. One on this billboard right here. You can uh, gotta scurry across or you can like do little jumps. One over here that you can glide to on this like U-shaped roof building. Uh, if you can't reach it, just uh, double jump on the slower part back up here, number 48. And uh, then there's going to be uh, one down here in the corner, number 49. Then you need to uh, grapple hook back up. And I grappled up here. We can probably grapple somewhere more strategically. But uh, anyways, uh, just head back. We're going to backtrack and uh, go over here and... Uh, then you want to fly across and uh, over here by the Dr. Munro's Family Center is going to be the uh, next one right here. Um, you have to uh, go ledge running and then grab it. Number 50 right there. Two thirds of the way through, but uh, so many on this goddamn rooftop. But uh, one over here and uh, this one is going to be up here. If you fall down, you can always grapple hook back up, which is cool. Number 52 right there, and one over here at this corner building. And then you can uh, use this time to fly over to Cletus's house and grab number 54. Then we're going to finally, finally crash back down to Earth. And then we're going to have to go back up onto the rooftops because there's that many on the freaking rooftops. So back up here, so much parkour going on, but uh, you know. That's what it is. Uh, anyways, once you're up here, you can grapple hook right um, over there, or you can uh, glide on down. Doesn't really matter, but uh, you can't grapple hook uh, back up from the uh, ledge right there, sadly. So you have to go all the way back here, and then grapple hook back up onto the roof. Very, very, very complicated, but uh, there you go. Uh, good thing Arkham City would come out like two years later and, you know, fix these things. But this game came out first, surprisingly. Came out before Asylum, too. Uh, it's nuts, but uh, anyways, uh, go over here. There's one on this I-beam on this like construction site area. You have to try to fly and try to get this. It's a little hard to clip it, but uh, there you go, number 56. 
I landed on the inside. Hopefully you didn't land on the outside because it's quite the walk back to get into this little skate park um, construction area. But uh, anyways, what you need to do is uh, you need to go over here. Um, you can use the slingshot to knock that door open. Grab number 57. And uh, then what you need to do, you go on back outside and uh, go all the way over to our grapple hook up here, which you can get at that um, place. If not, you can grapple hook from the uh, other one. But uh, fly on back outside to the outside and grab the one in the corner right here. All right, after grabbing that, what you need to do is you need to hit up the uh, Duff Brewery right over here uh, across the street. Uh, unfortunately, the part's a little short in order to clear the wall jump, but uh, you can take the front door like a normal person. But uh, you want to look um, on the right side behind this uh, silo thing and then grab it right here. You are going to need Lisa for this next part, so uh, try to find the um, bus stop thing that's actually a phone booth. Um, you need to use her hand Buddha station right here, and then you need to put these uh, pipes in order. You put the cap on the silo, and then the uh, pipe um, on the right side, and then you can uh, climb up here. So uh, grab this pipe, and then jump on the uh, two flat pipes right here, and then you can finally climb the ladder straight up. And uh, once you're up here, what you need to do is you need to climb this higher ladder, climb up, and then you can uh, grab the slew of collectibles on the uh, brewery. The first one's going to be this one on the edge, so make sure you grab that. That is going to be number 60. Then you can uh, use the vent and fly up, and you want to try to grapple hook on the back of the billboard. It's a little hard because the rail is in the way, so uh, try your best to get it at an angle where you can stick the landing. But there will be one on the left edge of the billboard. And unfortunately you can't walk straight to it because the uh, lamps tend to get your feet stuck. So make sure you jump over them. Then you want to glide over to this building and grab number 62. Then you have to make your way back up on top of the billboard. So uh, once again try to get the angle right where you can uh, clear the uh, rail right there. And you want to be on the right side and then you want to float on over and grab the two on these uh, water towers right here. So there's one right here on this bigger water tower and one on the smaller water tower. The best thing about the second water tower is even if you miss, you can still um, jump on top of it using a double jump. And now we have to walk all the way to the parking garage. So just fly through the skate park, hang a right, and then you need to uh, climb all the way up here and um, make your way to this side of the skate park. Just keep climbing up, it's a pretty long walk. One right here at the uh, junction right there, and uh, that's number 65. Just got 10 left to go. You want to make your way all the way to the tippy top. Once you're here, you have uh, this part where you had to uh, turn off the electric fence in the campaign. Uh, I think it was a Marge level where you had to do that. But uh, make sure you grab the collectible in the corner, number 66. After that, you need to jump on down, and you need to grapple hook um, up here, but uh, not right there per se. You have to kind of grab this one right here. Um, you can grab it while you're floating, but uh, it's going to be the building with the uh, blue and yellow water tower in case you get lost. Alright, so uh, after that, you can uh, fly on over to uh, the building uh, right here across the way, the uh, pink one, and of course have the game's frame rates uh, suffer because this is near kind of a loading zone. So uh, anyways, uh, jump on this building. This one's by school, and that's going to be between these two uh, skylight um, windows. Uh, this is uh, the building that is a uh, sequel stop, so make sure you uh, look for that in case you get lost. Um, climb up the rotating sign, and then you know, shimmy your way um, into the corner. Grab number 70, fly across the building next door, and then grab number 71. Almost done. Got uh, three left to go. Uh, you want to head over here on top of Cash for Your Eyes, grab uh, number 72. This is uh, between Sequel Stop and the Church, in case you get lost. Once again, just look for these familiar-ish landmarks, and you should be good. And now it's going to be the long, long walk to uh, find the uh, last couple of collectibles. First one's going to be uh, by um, this building. I think it's the uh, courthouse, or it may be... Um, Town Hall, not sure, but it's going to be uh, in this uh, corner right here. And then after that, you need to go into the um, inside of Town Hall. So uh, once again, that's a pretty long walk. You can either cut through Town Square, or you can take the back way, but you need to reach the back of Town Hall and uh, go in on inside and say hi to Mayor Quimby, of course. And long, long walk there. Um, just keep on heading this direction. 
say hi to uh, Eddie the cop. He doesn't get many lines in the show. But uh, enter the back door. Once you're here, uh, you want to climb up the back curtain using Bart's uh, Spider-Man-esque abilities and grab it up there. And now we have one more left, and we have to once again backtrack all the way to uh, the Junk Town Clinic right here. So this is in front of school. Look for the Junky Town Clinic and hang a right right here. Now you should be in this area, kind of by the skate park. Um, you basically want to look for this building with a ladder in front of it. This is the building with a broken fire escape. Look behind this trash can and grab number 75. Very missable, but there's the last one. And there's the achievement. 50 gamer score, and that's all there is to it. Check back soon for Lisa's collectibles, and that's it.